guys, I'm Kyle, and this is TechBear TV. Today, I want to show you Scratch. Scratch is sort of a programming language that allows you to create things like games and other types of projects. To check out Scratch, go to scratch.mit.edu, and I will put the link in the description down below. So, to start a new project, click Create, and this will bring up the Scratch project editor. So, this is going to allow me to make the project. Over here is a step-by-step -step intro, which I'm going to X out, but if you are a beginner to Scratch, I recommend you check this out. Okay, so, this is a sprite. A sprite is sort of a character that can move and do many things. This is Scratchy the Cat. He is a sprite. I'm going to add a new sprite. As you can see, there are different types of sprites, like people, animals, and many other things. I'm going to do dog puppy. I'm going to click OK, and he's going to go into the project. And there is dog puppy. I'm going to move him over here so he's not right on top of Scratchy. Now, let's start with making Scratchy do something. I'm going to tell Scratchy to glide one second to Let's find coordinates. Down here are your coordinates, and as you move across the screen, it'll change and tell you what your coordinates are. So, I'm going to move Scratchy over here. So, that would be negative 2 by 140. Okay, so, glide one second to negative 2 by 140. Type that in. And now, we have the have an event start that up, so these are the events, and let's say when the green flag is clicked. Okay, so, when green flag clicked and the green flag is over you, he's going to glide one second to negative two by 140. And there we go. Scratchy glided up. Now, let's make the dog puppy do something. So I'm just going to click on dog puppy. And let's have him ask a question. So I'm going to click Sensing, and these are the different types of topics that you could do and make blocks out of. So there's Sensing, Motion, Look, Sound, Pen, Data, More Blocks, Operators, and others. So I'm going to ask. Let's have Dog Puppy ask, how are you doing today? doing today. And let's have that happen when the space key is pressed. Change that up a little bit from the green flag. Okay, so I'm going to hit the space key. How are you doing today? I'm going to say good. And that little message box is going to come up that will allow me to apply to the dog puppy. Okay, so dog puppy did not reply to my answer because I didn't tell him to say anything else. Remember this, Scratch will only do what you tell it to do. It is not automated, so you have to tell it. The computer only does what you tell it to do. Always keep that in mind. Okay, so, let's have him reply by saying, um, let's have him say, hello. Actually, let's change that to, that's good. for two seconds. And I'm going to click the spacebar. Well, press the spacebar. And he's going to say, how are you doing today? I'm going to say, uh, bad. And he's going to say, that's good. Okay, so let's go back to Scratchy. I'm going to move him back down. Now let's have Scratchy meow. Because he's a cat, and we want him to meow. So when the green flag is clicked, he's going to glide one second, so you give 2 by 140, and he's going to meow. So, I'm going to click the green flag. And he meows. Okay. Now, let's see what else we can do. We can change his costume. Why don't we change his costume? So as you can see, we can do different things. We could move him. And we can add color to him. 
So let's see what we can do here. I can make him a little white there. Get rid of his color there. And now you can see that the color changed also over here. So now we just adjusted Scratchy's costume. We made him meow. And those are essentially the basics of Scratch. I might do a video in the future that goes more advanced into Scratch, so stay tuned. Remember to subscribe, comment, and if you like the video, click that like button. Peace out, cats and dogs. Peace out.